Hello! Today we will overview how to perform a full power test using the Genesis or Genesis Mini model of our kiln controller. This process is used to check the relays and elements of the kiln to identify potential problems. To do this, we'll have to load a custom program included in the device and then examine the kiln's performance. First, with the system sitting at the home screen sitting idle, we'll navigate to the load menu. Here, select the custom option. You might have to scroll down. And then use the green scroll bar on the side to navigate down to user 12 full power test. Right there. And this should be loaded on your kiln by default. Press OK and it'll load the program. Now, if your kiln is set up in three zone mode, you'll have to take an additional step. If in this mode, if you are in this mode, the firing will not run properly if you have error codes disabled. To see if you're in this mode, you can go ahead and press this. And if you have three thermocouples rather than just the middle thermocouple two show up, then you are in three zone mode and you should take this next step. So if you see three there, you'll need to first navigate to the menu. Then scroll down to configuration then four error codes, press that, and then select off and save. Now your error codes are turned off. Make sure to follow these same steps to turn them back on after the firing. Now make sure that your kiln is empty and with the lid open as it will have to peek inside later. You can now start the firing by pressing the green start button in the upper left corner. Note it will warn you about errors and note that on this screen we have the full power test program loaded as well as on this screen it shows full power test up at the stop up at the top so now you can press start now enter your start code and press the start button and it should do a check all and then start firing now at this point, if you have an alarm set for high temperatures, you might want to change that to stop it from going off during this firing. See our video for more info on the subject, which will be linked in the description. Now you'll see our kiln is now firing. So you'll have to give the kiln 20 to 25 minutes for it to heat up, then we can visually inspect the elements. You'll want to observe each element from where it comes into the kiln to all the way around to see that it's equally bright throughout. You can make a number of different observations, each meeting a different problem. If one section of the kiln is dark and not coming on, it could indicate a defective relay since there is usually only one relay per section. If one element is not glowing at all, this could indicate a broken or bad element. If there are dark, cooler spots along the elements, this could indicate worn elements. Finally, if you're concerned about the top and bottom elements appearing brighter, this is normal, as many kilns have hotter elements in the top and bottom. Now, after you're done, you can use the normal process to turn off the kiln, pressing the red stop button in the top left corner. And that's it. For any problems with your kiln, you should contact your kiln manufacturer for replacement parts. The contact info is usually found somewhere on the side of the kiln. For any problems with the controller, please contact Bartlett Instrument Company with the information in the description or on our website. For a quick refresher or to look at any other processes, remember that we have the full manual available online and it's also linked in the description. You can find this particular process on page 25. Remember that if you had any trouble throughout this process, we are always available by phone and email for support. Remember to like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter or Instagram for the latest updates and information. We also have an e-newsletter for other information and tips, and you can see many other tutorials on our YouTube channel for other issues you might have. Thanks!